getting set up to start milling and man I can't wait to see what's inside of this tree it's gonna be kind of cool very very rare that you get a chance to see a mature growth tree get milled like this especially on site and boy we got a lot of work ahead of us It's going to be fun. You guys are going to like this. Stick around. Looks like they've already started the next one. Hey, buddy. Hello, hello. Say hi, Mr. Mintz. Hi. <laughs> Take a look at this tree. Yeah. It's freaking great. Have to rename your business Goodwood. <laughs> hi, Mr. Alex. What you think? Have you been um, wetting them as they come off? No. It takes a lot of time to do that. Yeah, to fill up the buckets. Yeah. That and measly little stream of water the, uh, coming out of the hose. The piece in there has some really cool crotch wood. The stuff that's coming off of here has got some cool patterns. If you flip it over, which is going to be hard right now, it's got some cool eyes and stuff. And that's just from the tension of the that branch being pulled over. Take a look at this stuff right here. All that. Oh, well, it's like a Vincent Van Gogh painting. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah. process of milling is super expensive and, and like time consuming I, I never realized how how much effort goes into just the setup alone I mean it, it takes a lot of time to, to measure out the cuts and make sure that you're doing everything where you're gonna get the most amount of board feed out of any given log and then never mind if you run into problems and you got to cut around stuff or you might have to shave the log down just to get the saw or the mill through the piece. Five inches on this side. Yeah, buddy, doing math. So can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing right now? I am just trying to make sure that I get a flat cut on both sides. When I measure both ends of it, this one's 51 inches high and the other side's 52 inches high. I'm trying to cut about the same amount off so that I can get 
enough of these grain that's parallel even though the pith is right here and on the other side it's a, a splitting off so what what is the pith the center of the tree is that where it started growing yep that's right where it started growing and then i'm just trying to make sure that i am level now now that i've got that on this side i'll measure it on the other side So from right there to where he measured on the other side, that'll be a flat cut all the way across. So with that Granberg mill, we had this very large section up here that is going to get in the way of the first pass. So if it were up higher, then the mill wouldn't be able to pass over it. Like he would have to set his, his rails further up. And there's nothing to support it on this side so what you do is he cut that piece off of it that'll make it much easier for him to set rails without having to take too deep of, of a pass on the first cut the first cut's always the hardest so it's the most amount of setup and you'll see what we're getting ready to do there with um his his rails a little got a little yeah that's rock solid oh, no wife. nobody can argue you're not an interesting person brian <laughs> oh, my, that's what my wife says <laughs> so what he's doing right now is he's just using the rail as a guide so that he can mark the the excess so pretty much everything above the rail is waste yeah. Neat. Oh. all right let's do it Back again today, we're going to be finishing the last big log, I think. And hopefully today's the last day of uh, cutting that we're going to be doing. Everything else will be clean up and milling, or excuse me, cleaning up and just uh, filling in the ruts on the yard. Only thing left is that big log. And not sure how we're going to do it yet, but <laughs> we're going to figure it out. So what's the plan here, man? I'm gonna cut it half this way, and then we're going to uh, cut it into wedges at least. Probably at eight. least eighths, yeah. if not more. Once we get this cut in half and on the ground, I think we can get a slightly better idea for that. Ain't no sending that through a Granberg mill. <laughs> no. <laughs>